Hello everybody! Look, I have my gorgeous model Yachty. Look at how hot she is. Ooh. <laughs> and I have a special guest in the studio today. Uh, many of you guys already know her. Her name is Pam Trent. She is one of our beloved Silly Farm staff and a phenomenal painter. And I think it's always important to show different people or different artists because we can all learn from each other. So, um, Mardi Gras is just around the corner, Fat Tuesday, woohoo! Um, if you are local or if you want to come to South Florida and participate in this South Florida Body Painting Festival, the grand prize is $1,000 cash. So uh, call Silly Farm for more information. Besides that, um, we have a new Mardi Gras rainbow cake out today, uh, this month. So I want to show you guys some things you can do with it. And Pam so graciously volunteered to use our beautiful model Yachty. So we're going to rock it today. We're going to rock the studio. So Pam, take it away. Okay. Um, I want to show you first the, our new Mardi Gras cakes. They're beautiful. Um, they should make your painting a lot faster for the holiday. And I'm going to do a mask um, on Yachty using the rainbow cakes and a few little patterns that are traditional for Mardi Gras. So I'm going to go ahead and start on her. I'm going to use the sponge. You load it. Um, just swiping down. Let me show you. Just come down and swipe your sponge and then you pick up all three colors, which is really nice. Makes it faster. So I'm going to try to decide which way I'm going. Okay, so I'm going to go and I'm going to do a little bit of a mask. And when you're applying a rainbow, you want you don't want to brush it because it will leave streaks in your painting. So you want to pat it on the face and give it a nice matte finish and it blends your colors as you're pressing it. As you can see, it's very pretty. This is going to be very pretty. I'm going to reload my sponge with a little bit more uh, paint. You don't want to get your sponge too wet because it will run. Um, so you want it a little bit dry, not real dry, but you want it a little bit dry. So I'm going to bring these colors back down over her nose. And we're going to do the rainbow. And we're going to push it back up this way. It's a little oblong. Um, I want it to be that way. You want Mardi Gras is supposed to be unusual um, masks. So now I'm going to um, use a wool metallic yellow. And I'm going to. Um, Make a floor de lis at the top of the piece. And I'm using the new um, gold grip uh, brushes. These are wonderful. I love these brushes. That's what I use. one of all of our favorite products. It really adds to your painting. Um, you also can, I'm going to add some gold teardrops. Teardrops always make your painting look beautiful, no matter what. Do. I'm going to, it's, it's pretty s simple, and um, but I'm going to start adding some liquid bling so we can start popping this a little bit. And I'm going to put it around the floor to leaves. And we'll see how pretty this is going to make this design. 
liquid bling adds it's so much it adds so much to everything. Um, masks for Mardi Gras, like I said, you can really let your imagination run wild. With them. You put some dots. And I'm getting there. <laughs> I'll give you a little bit of a black eyeliner. And when you're doing eyes, especially on children, it's real important to make sure that they're comfortable with it because a lot of children aren't doing the black lines. You can also go above. Can you open your eyes for a second? Oh, it's very pretty. Ooh, Let me, um, yaddy. And you can add some glitter. Um, there we go. I'm going to just add an iridescent glitter. It's got a purple tint to it, which is really pretty. It looks really pretty. Can you want to see how pretty you look? Ooh. All right. But it's so pretty. It's pretty it is. It's beautiful. Okay, look <laughs> at the camera so I can just... Ooh. Okay, so this is a demonstration using some really cool products. I'll list them at the end of the video. Thank you, Pam, so much. Yadi, you look absolutely gorgeous. You look like an Egyptian model. Um, but so these are just a few of the products and some things that you can do and some ideas. And you can use your Valentine's rainbow cake. You can use uh, any of your rainbow cakes and just do a, a different version of this design. But it's absolutely beautiful and it shows you that you can kind of use movement on the face and just use your teardrops. And because the rainbow cakes are so simple, you can add a nice background fast and make everything look good. So thank you. And thank you, Pam, for joining us. Thank you. All right. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>